This is, I think, my first bit that I would maybe talk about. Because your login component only appears in one spot, and it's the login page. Probably not really ideologically a component. Add post is a bunch of components slapped together. All posts is components slapped together. So we have this idea of like components. Now I'm so zoomed in, the text is so big. And we have this idea of pages. There should be some differentiation in the way that we think about these things. Components is reusable tools. You have your input component, right? You have your button component, right? What are some other ones? What are some other ones? Because I think you actually have like a good understanding of this. The logo, the logo component. All of these are reusable. These are going to appear, will appear on multiple pages. But then we have the idea of pages, which more or less like corresponds to a URL, like to a, to a route, you know, slash login slash sign up, et cetera, right? So the only real comment I have for you so far is that you kind of broke this model. You made a sign it or like a login component that only gets used on one page. So there's not really like a reason for this to be a component, right? It's not a reusable chunk of code it's just something that corresponds to this route so because it only corresponds to this route i think if i were you i would delete the login component and put all of that logic into the login page all of these could appear on multiple pages except for like sign in and login. If I want to add anything other than the login component to the login page, then what to do now? I would look at it as does anything on the login page get used elsewhere? If anything on the login page gets used elsewhere, it becomes a component. And otherwise you just keep adding stuff to the login page. So the way that I look at it is basically Anything that is used in one spot should only go in that spot. Anything that is used in multiple spots should be a component. Oh God, email validation regex. Okay, I mean, it maybe works. Email validation is like a notoriously hard problem. So I assume you grab this off Stack Overflow. At least I hope you did. I got the regex from ChatGPT. All right. I would never recommend you do that. A lot of people probably are fine with that. I would make, because who knows if that's correct. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, let's test it live. Maybe it's fine. So your regex here is certainly not correct. Oh God. And there's like blog posts. See what I mean about this being like a notoriously hard problem. Validating email addresses is a hard problem. I'm not going to be nitpicky on this. I'm sure this is like fine. Um, but I would just be aware that it is highly possible that there exist valid email addresses that are going to fail this check. Uh, so validating email is a crazy hard problem. And I think the way that a lot of people do it is they don't actually attempt to do any validation. They let you type in whatever you want. All they do is they check to make sure that you've put in like an at symbol or something like that. And then when they get to the back end, they will check to see if it's like a valid route to an SMTP server. There's your feedback. There's your feedback. Thanks for bringing it out. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.